The Florida Keys Mosquito Control District and OxyTech have begun a pilot project to release our non-biting male mosquitoes as a solution to target and control the invasive, disease-spreading Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. This groundbreaking pilot marks the first time that this mosquito control solution will be used in the United States, following many successful releases in other geographies. A study in southern Brazil, in the course of about 14 weeks, which frankly was sooner than we expected, resulted in a decrease of over 90% of Aedes aegypti in the areas where they were released. A select number of neighborhoods in the Florida Keys will be hosting our Just Add Water mosquito boxes. The males will start emerging probably the first or second week of May. Their emergence is slow, gradual, and incremental. To remember, these are all male mosquitoes. Our mosquitoes are boys, and boys don't bite, boys don't feed on blood. We can expect to keep these boxes out for about 12 to 16 weeks. So it's, it's going to be through uh, May, June, and July of this year. OxyTech was first invited to the Florida Keys more than 10 years ago by the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District. Over that time, OxyTech has conducted extensive community engagement. And in fact, in 2016, our mosquitoes were on the ballot. There was a non-binding referendum about our project, and in it, 31 out of 33 Monroe County precincts voted in support of our project. The Florida Keys Mosquito Control District and many other districts in Florida are struggling with the number of tools in their toolbox to control Aedes aegypti. It hides under vegetation, it's cryptic in terms of where the females lay their eggs, and work that FKMCD has done and work that I'm familiar with throughout southern Florida in general indicates a very high frequency of pesticide resistance in Aedes aegypti. These are three whammies that are really difficult to overcome. We're one of the top rated mosquito control districts in the state of Florida, in the country, and, and in the world. And at best, we're controlling maximum 50% of the Aedes aegypti mosquito that we see. Then we have a three to five day rain and wind event, which we have here routinely, where we're not able to spray, and our control goes significantly below 50% to where we can get in real trouble. One advantage of the OxyTech mosquito is it's out there working 24 seven to avoid this problem. We have received regulatory approvals at the federal level in the United States from the Environmental Protection Agency and at the state level in Florida from the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. That approval included authorizations from seven additional entities, including the Florida Department of Health, Florida Department of Environmental Protection, and the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. The beauty of using the OX5034 is it is very specific. It targets Aedes aegypti. And it can do something that humans cannot. You can spray, and you might not actually hit Aedes aegypti adults, and you might not actually target Aedes aegypti larval sites. But you know who's really good at finding Aedes aegypti females? Yeah, Aedes aegypti males. It is not toxic. It is specific for one species of invasive mosquito that is also a vector of dengue, chikungunya, and Zika virus. I'd never even heard of dengue before about five or six years ago. I mean, in Africa maybe, in South America maybe, but not here. We've had, I, I know four people in town that have had it. If these insects can actually decrease the population, the wild population that do carry bloodborne pathogens, well, why not? I mean, otherwise we're dumping so many chemicals on our ground, you would think it'd be a no-brainer. You know, when we're dealing with these mosquito-borne diseases, and again, in, in my profession, heartworm, you know, we have two options. The option one is you can put your pet on preventative chemicals, uh, or if the animal gets sick, you can give them medications that can be extremely dangerous to give, or we can use the friendly mosquito and prevent the disease all around and not have to even deal with any kind of a drug or a chemical, you know, with our pets. So to me, 
it's absolutely the way we want to approach this. The only way to control the diseases is to control the mosquito. And the mosquito is becoming increasingly resistant to the better pesticides that we have. If we're successful with this trial, we hope to be able to eliminate all of the spraying that we're doing at this time to control the Aedes aegypti mosquito or significantly reduce it. I'm proud that our Mosquito Control District made the decision to go ahead with this project. We think we'll make great strides improving public health concerns, not only in South Florida, but we know the rest of the world is watching us right now, so, and there's big need for this everywhere in the world.